Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's video, I'll be showing you an organization video as part of our beautiful home series, which is a refrigerator organization. This is a double door refrigerator. The freezer is in the top section and the regular fridge is in the lower section. I'll just show you a sneak peek of what's inside the refrigerator and how I organize things neatly inside it. Uh, you can pick up some ideas from here and always tailor it according to the size of your refrigerator and according to the things that you keep inside it. First, I'll show you what's on the door. This is a magnetic dry erase board which I use to write uh, reminders, some things that I have to come get from the market or the store. So that comes in very handy. Those red and yellow ones are two, just two magnets that I use to stick bills and things like that. This one is a pot holder and the white one is a magnetic plastic bag sealer. On the lower door I've just hung up my oven mitten which I double up as a pot holder too. Uh, now let's see what's inside the refrigerator. Now let's look into the freezer section. My freezer has uh, two shelves. We'll look at the top shelf now. In the corner I have my ice cube tray and that is a container. I get my yam and drumstick only in the frozen form so I keep that there in that container. Those are two glass bowls and a kulfi mold. I have my old gasket there. Whenever I buy a non -veg, I keep it on the top shelf. Now we look at the lower shelf. I have my spices and grocery here like the cardamom, the cinnamon, the cloves etc. I put it in glass bottles in airtight containers. Uh, they stay nice and fresh when I keep it in the freezer. Uh, you can see that there is a lot of frost on all of my bottles. It's because I kept the door open for a long time for this uh, video shooting. So never keep your door open for a very long time. Now next to it I have another tray where I have all my powders. Uh, this is my homemade powders like uh, the Pulyodarai uh, powder. Below it I have the Kadai Masala powder. Behind it I have the cardamom powder, cinnamon powder, basil leaves and things like that. Now next to this I have some of my grocery items uh, stocked up here. Uh, like you see I have my poha here which I use for grinding idli batter the oats then i have my flowers like the wheat flour the maida the rice flour corn flour they stay very fresh when you keep it in the refrigerator but always remember you put them in airtight containers and close the lid nice and tight now i'll show you a quick tip here uh, behind the tray in the corner of the fridge if i pan you will be able to see i have a cut lemon uh, wedge there uh, that's just to keep away all bad odor from the refrigerator. That's a natural odor eliminator. You, that's there in all corners of my refrigerator in every section. Now we look at the door of the freezer. I just have a bottle of uh, ice which comes in handy during emergency situations. And this is an ice pack uh, bag. Below this I have my basmati rice. Uh, this is roasted gram or putta kadalai. The bottle doesn't fit so I've just kept it in that direction and I, my extra spices that don't fit in the bottles I put them in nice plastic bags, seal it and I put it into this airtight container and this is just dry double beans. Once again this is a look or snapshot into my freezer section. Now we look at the refrigerator section. Now this is the lower portion which is the actual refrigerator section. Mine has three shelves and two vegetable trays uh, beneath it. Uh, we'll go section by section or shelf by shelf. Now we look at the topmost shelf. Uh, I purposely keep the shelf a little empty because my leftovers go there. And when I grind my batter I put it uh, there and the chunk of space is taken by the batter. And here I have some uh, just cut vegetables, a lemon wedge and things like that. Here also you will see in the corner there is a lemon uh, cut lemon wedge there which is the odor eliminator. So as I told you, you will find it in every corner of my refrigerator. Once it's uh, it gets dry, throw it away and keep a fresh lime again. Uh, now we'll move on to the second shelf. You see I have uh, arranged things in baskets here and uh, these baskets have handles for easy pulling out and uh, uh, sorting out these items in the first basket if you see I have my lemons and my avocado there and I have a coconut that I opened today by the end of the day I will grate the entire thing and put it in an airtight container otherwise if you keep it like this it will get totally dry and it will go, go to waste and I have a pumpkin piece we get pumpkin in pieces like this 
Uh, so if I put it in the vegetable tray, I will totally forget about it because it's uh, really small. So I keep it there uh, for easy remembrance. In this basket, I have my mushroom uh, stored here and below it, I have my ginger. I'll do a separate video on storing ginger, coriander, curry leaves and green chilies. In this basket, I have my cheese, some homemade paneer and a salsa bottle inside it. Below this shelf, I have another pull-out tray uh, where I store all my tomatoes. I use a lot of tomatoes in my daily cooking, so I like to put them here, easy and handy. Below the tomatoes, I have another uh, big white tray where I store in all my greens, uh, like my uh, extra coriander, extra curry leaves. Uh, when I buy kira, mint leaves, all that goes here in this tray here. Now that's just an extra basket where I uh, store vegetables that don't fit into my vegetable tray and especially vegetables which are uh, large like the cauliflower, the broccoli, uh, the this is the sorakai. So I like to keep that handy. Whenever I buy extra vegetables and they don't fit into the vegetable tray, that goes in here. Below this I have two vegetable trays. They are pull-out trays and I keep or uh, store all my vegetables here for a week. And the right hand tray, I can't open it much because there is a wall behind the door of the refrigerator. So I, I can keep only minimal uh, amount of vegetables there. And I mostly keep uh, vegetables that don't perish uh, quickly. All my perishable vegetables, I keep it on the left hand side tray. I've stored all my vegetables in uh, bags here. I'll do a separate video on storing these vegetables to give them a longer shelf life. Now let's look at the door of the refrigerator. Uh, here uh, I keep only my butter here. Uh, I have a small container in which I have some used butter and a fresh pack of butter. Below that uh, this is my container in which I have my coriander. And uh, this uh, container has my curry leaves and my green chilies inside it. Next to it, I have some store-bought yogurt just in case my yogurt doesn't set at home and a juice bottle behind it. This container is also an airtight container. I keep all my snacks in it like my biscuits, cookies, uh, save or muruka. If you put it in an airtight container, snacks uh, remain nice and fresh and crispy. I have my nuts here like cashews, almonds, raisins and walnuts. Behind them are my sauce bottles like soy sauce, vinegar, chili sauce, salad dressing. Uh, some ketchup and a jam bottle and that one is my can of milk So this is an overview of how I organize my refrigerator for easy Access to the items inside it. You can always tailor this according to your needs tastes and preferences and according to the size of your Refrigerator hope you enjoyed this refrigerator organization video today. Do give us your feedback Subscribe to our YouTube channel and post in your comments and suggestions. Hit the like button and keep encouraging us. You can also visit us at cookingflavors.com and follow us on Google+. Till we see you again with another new and interesting recipe. Thank you and happy cooking.